guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today we're doing another edition of weekly wishlist or washout if you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen this series in the past what i do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on trend moods instagram page and decide whether i think i'm going to be adding them to my wishlist or if i think they are a total washout so before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series and if you want to see any more videos in the future don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever i post a new video Okay, so I am filming this Tuesday and I post these normally Wednesday morning. So if anything comes out like late Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning, odds are I'm not going to be getting to it. But as usual, all my photos will be taken from the Trend Mood Instagram page. So first, an update from a previous week, the Kat Von D 10 year anniversary collection did just come out and I did pick up the palette. I just ordered it from Sephora online because I didn't want to wait <laughs> to pick it up in store. So that is on the way. As soon as I get it, I'm going to do probably several videos with it because I'm so excited about it. Cannot wait for it to come in. Um, so that's on the way. Hopefully I'll get it like tomorrow or the day after. So keep an eye out for those videos. Next, something I'm actually really excited for is another Jeffree Star like mini liquid lip bundle. He has come out with two in the past. One was a nudes bundle and then one was a red and pink bundle. I did get both of those. And that formula is actually one of my favorite lip formulas for a liquid like matte lip because it's just so comfortable. And for me, I love minis. I, I will never, ever finish a full size lip, ever. <laughs> So I like having minis around. I have, if you've seen my like vanity tour video, I'll throw that up in the cards. I go over like all of my mini lips. I love them. Like mini is the way to go. So it looks like this is going to be a mini bundle of all like colorful, crazy colorful colors. And I'm actually really excited for this because I've always wanted to try out like crazy colors, but I didn't want to splurge on a full size for it. And nobody really has minis or a mini set in like those crazy colors so i can't wait to see what colors are going to be in here but odds are like i'm going to be getting it next bh cosmetics just came out with a new palette and honestly it's boring it's boring you've got blushes on the bottom you've got a nice array of you know warm neutrals it's nothing groundbreaking the swatches look pretty but i'm definitely not going to be picking it up talk about the letdown of the year for ColourPop's birthday. I think this is like their fifth birthday. They came out with a new palette and you would think ColourPop birthday. There's a lot you could do with. This is what we get. We get a gigantic, cool toned, boring palette. Honestly, like I saw this and I almost kind of thought it was a joke, almost. Especially because look at the front of the palette. It's got these beautiful like pinks and purples and yellows. Like if the colors had been that, I would have been excited. But like even looking at the swatches, it's like I have those colors several times over in my collection. Oh God, and several of these colors from the pictures, they look the same in the pans. Like, uh, really disappointed in that. But then again, they are popping out like a palette a week. So just like wait a week and they'll come out with something else, you know? <laughs> So BH Cosmetics is coming out with a new brush set and this one actually looks gorgeous. I haven't tried out any brushes from BH Cosmetics. This might be the set that gets me to try it out. I don't know if the whole thing will come in a set or if it's going to be like just the eye brushes and then just the face brushes. But they've got these beautiful like marble handles. The brushes look nice and fluffy. If anything, I really want to try the eye brushes and then the like gigantic fluffy powder brush because I could use another one of those. And last but not least, it looks like Maybelline is coming out with a new palette that actually looks, I mean, it looks interesting until you cover up the purple and then it's kind of just another warm neutrals palette. But I'll give it for the, I'll give it to them for trying a little, like, you know, B plus for effort. But it's called the Soda Pop palette and the swatches actually look stunning. If I can find this in my like local drugstores when it comes out, I'll probably pick it up to try it because I haven't tried a whole lot of Maybelline shadows since like the City Mini palettes, which I haven't, st I still haven't done like a video on those. So if you guys are super interested in seeing like the City Mini palettes, I do have 
like not all of them but the majority of the palettes from that collection and i don't really reach for them that often because i don't reach for like my small palettes which i think i'm going to do a new series about like reaching for small palettes and you know doing full looks with smaller palettes so keep your eyes out for that and then let me know if you want to see anything about the city mini palettes but since i haven't tried a whole lot of maybelline shadows recently i really do want to try out one of the palettes and the one they just came out with, the like the sunset-y kind of one, like I have like four sunset palettes, I don't need another one. Um, this one's kind of along the same lines, you've got yellows, you've got purples, you've got reds. Honestly, the swatches are pulling me in, especially the, say, the shade Soda Fizz. That swatch looks beautiful, and I do want to try this palette out. Huh, that's even a little like faster than normal. Normally we have a little bit more to talk about, but if you guys know of any new releases that I haven't covered, if you want to see my take on them, don't forget to leave it linked down below. I'd be more than happy to go over those in the next video next week. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!